Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Allen Family Firewood. Glad to have you along. If any of you guys are new here, I'm Phil. I'm Karen. And we appreciate you watching. In uh, the last video that we had, we were up here on the top side of our wood yard getting everything cleared out for a wood storage area. Um, we're starting up here today, but um, just to show you what we got done this weekend and to give you a little closer look at the foundation that we were talking about that was under a pile of <laughs> yeah, it was. pile of everything and Phil dug it out and kind of uncovered a lot of what it is and we'll show you, you know, what we found. This foundation was a lot bigger than I had expected. I didn't realize it was quite this big, <laughs> but. How big we'll, is it? It's, you... uh, it's looking, we'll show it to them in a second. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. All right, this, this foundation turned into be a lot more than I thought it was going to be. Um, it's like 12, 14 feet wide and you can, I'm not sure if you, the camera shows it, but this is all a big cement slab down through here. Um, and it had a, a frost wall all the way around it. And you can see that right here in the, I had taken the tractor and kind of flipped them out. Um, I was thinking I'd have the excavator do it, but it's still not running and maybe by today it'll be running. We'll see how that all pans out, but I figured I better get after it with a tractor and try and do it. But I would say this place had burnt a long time ago because it was right full of just black, black dirt. But at least I didn't get any flat tires from it. Uh, that's enough about that. We got to get this birch cut up. We got to do something with that, but we might as well show them the rest of the what we got done this weekend and uh, we'll go from there. You can... You can see over there, that's where the foundation is that we just showed you, and the pile of birch. Um, we had it cleared, oh, probably up to this, this big triple oak tree right here, but we had left a little narrow, narrow spot of trees just to be polite to the neighbors, but they come out and asked us to cut them all because they want a nice view of the farm, and I'm like, well, heck yeah, that's more wood storage for us, so that's what we did. We came kind of went down through here and just finished cutting cutting everything down down through right here and I needed a place to park the trailer so the the ground had kind of pitched down right here so I hauled up a bunch of dirt that he had bailed up and kind of leveled out a little bit of a spot right here but I think it's going to be a good spot to put the trailer and then the rest of it we'll just we'll just cover everything else over with the chips and more wood storage. That's that's kind of the name of the game of doing all this was to be able to fit it. And I'm, I'm hoping we can fit a hundred cord up here. That's all on pallets. And then all we have to do is our pine, we can put down in the lower wood yard. And that should get us set pretty good, I think. At least that's what I'm hoping for, but I don't know. Um, I think I'm just going to go get the tractor and start hauling the birch down. Then we get to bucking, right? <laughs> All right, so we got this load of birch down at the splitter. Um, the reason we're doing all birch today is because one, we cut it all from the top side where we're making the wood storage area, but we also have a customer who said she would take nothing but birch. So if that's what she wants, that's what she's going to get. Yeah. We'll have it all Cust on a on a pallet for her for next year. Customer's always right. So right, we'll get the 500 running and we'll get to bucking and busting this bunch of birch for Buster. And wow, 
<laughs> that was a tongue twister. I can't believe that came out of my mouth. <laughs> Fucking and busting a bunch of birch for Buster. Yeah. Okay. Well, Buster's our splitter for any of you new folks that are watching. That's, uh, had to name the wood splitter, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. All right, let's get going. <laughs> worked out pretty good we got all the birch over here with the tractor yeah that did that worked out yeah. great and as you can see the birch has been bucked it has <laughs> and now we're gonna start busting the birch with buster <laughs> but uh, we gotta get after this year because yeah that, well with the time change it's gonna be dark at five o'clock we gotta get busy <laughs> it is but i might have come up with a little bit of a solution for splitting after dark we'll have to see i knew you would <laughs>
boy. What's what's up? What's up? Uh, this ain't good. What's going on? Oh, a piece of wood just smashed my finger and it looks pretty big. <laughs> is it busted or is it all right? No, I can bend it. But All right. she's pretty blue. She's get, pretty big. Get the ice to it. <laughs> oh, that hurt. And I didn't even get it on camera. <laughs> that weren't a good look. All right, how you making out? Put ice on it. Yeah, it's not broke, is it? I can bend it now. It's well, not broke. That's a good thing. It's pretty puffy though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well. I think I'm uh, just going to take five. Yeah. Well, I guess I don't blame you. Are you going to be able to keep stacking, though? Because that's the important thing. <laughs> oh, that ain't a good look. We'll see in five. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm going to go back to splitting if you're all right. Yeah. I, I mean, it's not broken, but I need to. I want the swelling to go down so it doesn't blow up twice its size. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably a good thing you had them insulated gloves on. Yeah, for sure. That if I had regular gloves, that probably would have broke it. Yeah. These are at least some impact yeah. resistant. I mean, those, those are big, heavy winter gloves, so. Fingers and toes, right? Yeah, that's that's what happens doing firewood, fingers and toes. So, all right. I'll take five. I'll be back. You might want to take ten. <laughs> I might. All right. I'll go back busting wood. Okay. India. I'm back. And you make out? <laughs> yeah, it's all right. It's it's not broke, so I'm happy about that. But yeah, it hurts you a know, little. <laughs> we certainly don't need you out of service. It's pretty. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty swollen, but I think I'll be fine. That's a good thing. I think we're gonna have more than half a cord here. By the looks of it, because this stack's almost full. Son of a birch. <laughs> yeah. Well, son of we a birch. We didn't think it'd be that much. Yeah. Uh, See, I still got it. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping there was more here, but I would say not. That's all right, but interesting looking with all birch on it's easy it to does. pick out of the crowd <laughs> it does i don't think i've ever done this much no. birch all in one one shot it's you know we don't get it that often and usually you don't want it because most most people don't want it for heating wood but that lady they said they wanted some so well everybody has their yep We'll make it way happen. Of doing things. We'll make it happen for them. That we can do. This is pretty looking stuff. 
We'll have to mix the rest of this with something else on another pallet. Yeah, probably not sure what to do with that, but maybe we'll burn it in the shop. Yeah. Feed it to the boiler at the house. Yeah, we could do that. I mean, it, it does burn just fine. I don't have a problem with it. Does it burn quicker than most? It does. It does, and it smokes a lot. It's pretty smoky because all the the paper on it yeah. kind of just makes for a smoky fire. But once the paper burns off, it's fine. But it's this stuff here, you guys. It just peels off and... Yeah. Messy. Yeah. Yeah, to bring it in a house or something like that, but I bet you there's a there's probably a market for this at Christmas time. People that want to pile up seven or eight pieces next to their fireplace. Yeah. Something like that, because it's pretty. I mean, not that all of this is really pretty, but you know, I mean, a it, lot of it is. It's nice, yeah. nice looking. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Don't be banging your finger. <laughs> there we have it. Well, there. Yeah, that worked out pretty good. Yeah. I mean, there's still... I don't know. I don't even know if there's half of one of these rows in there, but... Yeah. Doesn't it'll, look it. It'll go on a different pallet, but... Yeah. I don't know. I think we wrap this up. But... Hey, it's not dark yet. No, no, I was hoping to, I rigged up a light on the wood splitter, but maybe we'll do that in a different video. Yeah. We'll split after dark and do a cord, and we got to make sure it works first good. Yeah, we make good time. It might not light up everything, but we'll see. Even with the finger injury, we got done before dark. Yep. <laughs> it's a win. Right. It's only half a cord, but. Yeah. Well, a little more than half a cord, but mm -hmm. whatever. All right, well, you guys, I appreciate you watching, and, uh. I think we'll just catch you on the next one, huh? We, we will. Because <laughs> we'll be back. We Gu will. Guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have take a good care. night. Yep. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.